Hi, welcome to the Inception Life Bank family. Now that you've enrolled with Inception Life Bank, there are just a few more steps to take. If you haven't already, please go online to enrollcb.com ILB and complete your enrollment. Your kit will usually be shipped to you about six weeks before your due date, but you may have already received it. One thing to remember is to please keep your kit at room temperature once you receive it. Now, this is the exciting part. Let's open your collection kit. It's important that you get familiar with everything inside. First, slide the sleeve off the kit. You'll see a seal and two doors. Feel free to break the seal between them to open your kit. And that's it. Inside the kit, you'll find some important documents. English on the left, French on the right. These are the healthcare provider instructions and the parent's guide and checklist. These parent instructions are for you. You should read these over with your birthing partner because they have important information for the day of delivery. Next, you'll find the data collection sheet. The top section needs to be completed and signed. You should do this before the birth. If you've chosen to save your cord tissue, please follow the instructions provided on this sheet and fill it out accordingly. This is crucial information for our laboratory to receive upon arrival with your collection kit. Also, you'll find the maternal serology requisition. On the day your baby is born, ask your nurse or healthcare provider to draw your blood using the maternal blood collection tubes provided in the kit and ensure that the steps listed on the form have been followed. If the birthing facility can't complete the maternal blood draw, there's an alternate option explained on the requisition. If you have any questions about the maternal blood draw, contact our client services team. Behind the instructions are the materials for cord blood and cord tissue collection. These are sterile, so please don't open either of the items. This is the pouch that your doctor will use for your cord blood collection. And this is the collection cup for cord tissue. These last items here are your maternal blood collection tubes I mentioned before. There might be condensation inside the tubes. That's normal. It's very important that the hospital staff understand that if the collection is done at the birthing facility, the tubes need to be included in the kit with your baby's cord blood and cord tissue. If your maternal blood is not completed at your birthing facility, be sure to keep the tubes and the maternal serology requisition as explained on the requisition. If we do not receive your maternal blood tubes at our laboratory for testing, you may not be able to use your baby's newborn stem cells in the future. Now that you're familiar with your kit, you can put it in with your go bag for the big day. Remember not to store your kit in the car and to keep it at room temperature. When the big day finally comes, make sure you give the kit to your doctor, midwife, or nursing staff. Let them know if you're going to be collecting the cord blood only or both cord blood and cord tissue. The collection can be seamlessly added at the end of the birthing process after your baby is born. Once the healthcare provider team performs the collection, they'll hand you or your birthing partner the kit. Make sure your birthing partner is prepared for this step. Look inside the kit and make sure everything is in there properly. Look for the cord blood, the cord tissue, if you have collected it, the data collection sheet, the maternal blood tubes, and the maternal serology requisition. If everything is there, then the kit can be sealed up for shipping. If the birthing facility cannot complete the maternal blood collection, please follow the alternative option explained on the maternal serology requisition. As you can see, there are seals on the top of the box and on the bottom. Please break both these seals and close the kit into a cube. The blue flap here is going to allow you to seal the kit properly. Pull the blue flap up and smooth it over like this. Next, you or your birthing partner need to call the 24-7 collection kit pickup line as soon as possible and let them know that you have an Inception Life Bank kit ready for pickup. 
Their number is located right here on the back of the kit. Give them your location and room number and they'll notify you about your pickup window and come right to you. Remember to store your kit at room temperature until the courier arrives. Once the courier picks up the kit, your baby's newborn stem cells will be safely transported to our laboratory in Tucson, Arizona. Once your newborn stem cells have been processed, you'll receive a confirmation SMS. And soon after your newborn's stem cells have been stored, we'll email you a confirmation letter. That's it. Thank you for choosing Inception Life Bank. If you have any questions, feel free to call our client services team and they'll be happy to answer any questions. Congratulations on your growing family.